Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Gabby here. I am a master NLP practitioner and EFT and a law of assumption coach here at Create Your Future. And I am here for us to spend every week where we dive deeply into the law of assumption to figure out how we can apply it to your life so that you can create the reality that you desire and generate the reality that you deserve. So I have a couple of great offerings that I want to share with you. For those of you who have seen um, or watched recent videos or seen our recent um, emails that we have gone out, I have a brand new course out. It is part of the Reality Generator Manifesting Series course, and it is how to get rid of a third party. So this is actually a fantastic 30-minute um, audio video course with a 25-page workbook to actually help you dive into crafting a new story and really moving the needle on getting rid of that third party. Also, I have a Limitless Love SP meditation that you can grab that's in the description box below. And you can go ahead and jump on that. Clients are seeing massive success with that particular meditation. It brings you into the alpha state. They are seeing reunions with their SP, movement with their SP, contact with their SP, and a brand new SP if that's what you want coming in. So grab that below. We're also giving away a free course on how to remove your blocks. That is in the description box below. So go ahead and check those out. If you're looking for one-to-one -one coaching, you can also find that information for coaching with me in the description box below. Okay, so today's video. First, before we jump in, I just want to say, you guys, you can totally generate the reality that you desire. I am recording this video right now in a king suite in the Venetian in Las Vegas in North America. Um, I won an all expense paid trip. So I'm literally here <laughs> um, for an amazing thing. And it has, um, it's just, it's always, I've never been to Vegas. This is my first time here. I'm really, really excited. Um, and it's just fantastic to be able to have these things happen in your life. And just show up in ways that delight you and and surprise you and honor you and and make you feel just like the powerful creator that you are. So if I can do that, you can do that. So I just want to share that with you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're going to dig into this week's video. This week's video is all about how do you find and stay in the sweet spot when you're manifesting on your manifestation journey? I've had a couple of clients actually ask this in our one-on-one -on -one sessions. And then I had a subscriber actually request a video on this um, in one of the YouTube comments. So I wanted to really share because this is something, like I said, it's been coming up a lot and it's really important information. So in order to understand how we find our sweet spot and how to stay in our sweet spot, we first have to understand the duality that we are living. Okay. So we're kind of going to get metaphysical here. <laughs> okay. So you know that you are a conscious creator. You are awakened to your own ability to generate your own reality and select your own experiences. You know that that is what being a conscious creator is. On the same hand, you are also a human living a human experience. There's our duality. The human side of us sees us as separate from our conscious creator, okay? We see us as being separate. That is oftentimes when we are not in our conscious creator role, we see things such as the 3D conditions, 3D circumstances as happening to us rather than them being just a shadow or an illusion. We see them as, no, this is what I'm experiencing right now. This is why I feel this way because we are stepping back into our human experience, our human element, okay? So I really wanna clear that up first because this is really crucial for us to understand in order to understand and identify when we are in our sweet spot in our manifesting journey, okay? So first is duality, understanding the duality, knowing that you are having two different experiences simultaneously at the same time. You are a multidimensional being. So you are right now showing up in your reality as a human, living a human experience and showing up in your reality as a conscious creator, selecting your own experiences and generating that reality for yourself, okay? So two pathways, they're parallel in the multidimensional space and you are doing both at the same time, okay? So when you are leaning more towards your conscious creator, when you are leaning more towards who you are as a reality generator, you begin to move into what you may have heard called flow. That's the term I like to use. Basically, what that means is 
the 3D conditions no longer matter to you. You are just eh, nonchalant about them because you know that you, as a conscious creator, are in control of what shows up in your reality. And those circumstances that are showing up, you know if they're showing up right now, it's based on your past thoughts. So they're just a shadow. They're just echoes. They're just showing up. Fake news is what I call it. I tell my clients that all the time. It's just fake news. <laughs> it's showing up. It's fake news. It's no longer real. That doesn't have anything to do with your current story. Okay? Now, you have two options when 3D conditions show up. You can continue to stay in your conscious creator mode and be nonchalant, or you can move back into your human experience side and start considering those 3D conditions and circumstances as real. Those are your two options, okay? So let's talk about what happens when you move into your conscious creator mode and you stay there. When you stay in your flow of your conscious creator mode and you recognize that these 3D conditions and these 3D circumstances that are showing up are just echoes, they're just old news, they're just shadows of your previous past thoughts that you have preferred and chosen and selected over and over and over again, which is why they've manifested into your 3D reality, then you know, I'm in my flow. These circumstances are not real. They have nothing to do with what is manifesting now. They have nothing to do with what is happening in the now moment. These are the past. And if you think about it, and I said this before to you guys, the past and the future are both imaginal acts. You and somebody else will experience the past. You could be in the same room experiencing the same event and have very different stories to tell about how it happened. The future has yet to happen and you are imagining what you want it to look like. Both are imaginal acts. The only power the only real power in your selection process is in the now moment because that is only what is manifesting right now, right now, right now, right now. Okay. So we are going back to being in our conscious creator mode. Okay. We're in conscious creator mode, conscious creator mode, three circumstances we're nonchalant about. Okay. When you start to recognize that you no longer need the 3D circumstances to tell you your manifestation is on its way. When you no longer need these 3D circumstances to tell you you're a conscious creator and you are deciding, when you no longer need these 3D circumstances to know without a doubt that you are going to push out into your reality, your desire, that is when you are in the sweet spot. That is when you are in the flow. Because no matter what 3D circumstances bubble up to the surface, you are continuously focused and choosing your preference on what you desire showing up. And as long as you, in every now moment, return to choosing that desire, choosing this preference, choosing this preference, these can keep bubbling and bubbling and bubbling, and it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Your awareness is no longer on these items when you are in the sweet spot. Your awareness no longer goes to your 3D circumstances or your 3D conditions. Instead, your awareness goes and maintains on the reality that you are selecting, the reality that you are now generating in the now moment because you are selecting it. Okay. So what does this have to do with my manifestation, Gabby? <laughs> what does this have to do with my manifestation? And how do I get to that point? So what it has to do with your manifestation is when you are maintaining that sweet spot, that is when you start to see that needle kind of start to shift. You are now more than 51% of the time in your preferred state. You are being the version of you who has your desire because this no longer matters. The 3D no longer matters because you are right now laser focused on the version of you who has your desire. You are thinking from the version of you who has your desire. You are reacting from the version of you who has your desire. And as you continue to do that, you continue to build momentum in the now moment, in the now moment, in the now moment. You begin to assume this is true for you in the now moment. And then it manifests. It has to push out. It's law. It's law. Okay. So how do we get there? Okay. 
So this is where you're going to hear me say persist. Persist. You are going to get over here by continuously reminding yourself of your new story. And sometimes that takes more efforting is, I guess, the right word if you want to use that word. Sometimes it takes more repetitive practice of reminding yourself of the new story. And this is only because we as humans living a human experience have been in a habit, a habitual mode, a habitual routine of telling ourselves this story. So we have to kind of break that habit, right? We have to break it. And to break that habit, it does require us to have some repetitive practice in telling ourselves our new story. Now, you can use any technique that you prefer in order to do this. You can use affirming, you can use visualizing, you can use scripting. There's so many out there that you can use. Or you can just remind yourself when you begin to notice that your thoughts go to your old story, tell yourself, whoa, 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 who am I being in this moment? Am I being the version of me who has my desire? Or am I not? Your brain's going to tell you you're not. So then you can literally say, what would the version of me who has what I desire, what would they be thinking right now? What would their thoughts be? Would they be thinking, oh, I need to check SP social media because I need to see if they've posted something or if they've forgotten about me or if there's somebody new in their life? No. <laughs> you would be thinking, gosh, Wow, I am so excited to see SP for dinner. Um, I should be thinking about, you know, picking up something at the grocery store. Now, does that mean you have to act as if? No, you don't have to go to the grocery store and pick up what you would plan to make for dinner with SP. No, but your thoughts are going to more dominantly go along the lines of neutrality within a committed relationship. So the mundane day-to-day -day things that you're going to do in a committed relationship, then they will being in a non-committed relationship, being separate from SP. And when your thoughts start going in this consistent routine, you know you are in flow, you're in the sweet spot. Okay, so prime example, um, and I shared this example, I think a few videos back, but I had a client who was volunteering at an animal shelter. And she shared with me that in one moment, she was sitting there worrying about SP, worrying about the relationship, worrying about how things were going to turn out while she's playing with an animal. And in the next moment, it was like a light switch went off. And she said, Gabby, all of a sudden, I just decided I am in a committed relationship with this person. And from that moment on, her thoughts centered around being the girlfriend, being in a long-term relationship being the partner, having an amazing partner who supported her. That is where her thought shifted to. You know, I had another client who I just met with recently who shared with me that she is no longer bothered by the 3D conditions. She is still being confronted with 3D circumstances of SP and third party, but she keeps telling herself, it's all working out for me. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. This is just a part of my bridge. It doesn't matter. I'm not worried. This is the story I'm telling myself now. And she shared, I realized, Gabby, that when I started focusing on telling myself that story, it has to push out. And it does. It does. All of the great teachers, Neville Goddard, Florence Govelshen, um, uh, Joseph Murphy, uh, Vadim Zeeland, you name them, keep going, all the YouTube coaches, everyone out there, anyone who practices law of assumption and believes in it wholeheartedly will tell you. It is a universal law and it has to push out. You just have to maintain flow, just have to follow in that story. Choose your preference over and over and over again. And that is how you manifest your desired reality. And that is how you know when you're in the sweet spot. All right, guys, I hope this helped. So excited to share this information with you. I will see you next week. Bye.